Have a good show tonight. You too. This is going to be the night when social media takes a mantle of democracy yeah, yeah, from. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, did you know your book sold for a thousand dollars? What do you mean? At the auction. My book? It got bid up to a thousand dollars, and you were afraid no one's going to buy it. Go back for a second. <laughs> On Sunday, the auction Reese had for Sandy relief. I was supposed to sign a book. You did sign a book. Reese asked all the talent to contribute something. Will donate a round of golf with Will. Elliot's letting someone read the news, and Reese wanted you to donate dinner and a movie, but you said you'd sign a book. Because I thought nobody bidding on a book would be less embarrassing than nobody bidding on a date. Do you honestly, can I ask, do you seriously think, I'm not suggesting you should have donated a date, but do you really think that if you had, no one would have bid on it? I'm just saying, what I'm saying is that would have been embarrassing, so why not just donate the money directly to Sandy, which is what I did? Well, your book went for $1,000. Someone spent $1,000 on hyperinflation in the Weimar Republic, the economics of post-World War I Germany? Hey, I'm as surprised as anyone, but I think what they were buying was your autograph. I didn't sign it. You did? I didn't. I saw the inscription, a coffer these or ice and Jesus book. I hope you shred this book. Is that what that means? Yes. I mean, I think, yes. Then it says, thank you for your generosity, Sloan Sabbath. Are you sure? That was in English. I didn't sign the book. I was supposed to leave it on my desk before I left for the weekend, and I didn't. Somebody signed a copy for you and sent it to the auction. And somebody paid $1,000 for it. I feel terrible. I feel really bad about this. Please don't enlist me to I need help you to help you me find. find the person who bought it. 435 House races tonight, 33 Senate races, 538 electoral votes. Yeah, but this is important. Got it. 500 races. Spricht jemand hier Deutsch? Ich tun. Not as well as you think. Come with me. Sure. Gary, sign your book. Here's the thing. Yeah? You forgot to do it, and I was put in charge of something for the benefit, and I speak a little German, so I thought, I'll inscribe it. I hope you enjoyed this book. And I signed your name just like you do. I didn't put a heart over the eye or anything. Wait, is there an eye in your name? Yes. Yes, there is. And you inscribed it. I hope you shred this book. Neil has explained that. What are the chances that whoever bought the book speaks German? What are the chances that you do? Guys, can we move this someplace else? I don't care about the German. I care about the fraud. I need the name and contact information of the person who bought the book. Tonight? You need to hurry before the trail gets cold. You think the book may have been bought by a bank robber? Look at my face. I know. Does it seem it like does I want not. to be sassed? Stand back. I have someone tracking down the event coordinator at Continental Benefit Auctions to get the name and contact. I'm going to feel bad until this is fixed. It's going to be fixed. What if it never is? What if I go on and on like this? What if I keep talking rhetorical questions until you just can't take it anymore? Can I go? I'm good. Any chance this can wait? No. Jim's on his way. I'd like to announce something in the meantime. I was supposed to donate a signed copy of my book for the Sandy auction, and I went to see my parents last weekend and forgot to leave the book. Gary, meaning well, signed a copy of the book, forging my signature and writing the inscription. In German? Almost. In German, the words for enjoy and shred are a lot alike. They're nothing alike, but that's not the point. Take your time getting to the point, because as you can see, nothing else is happening right now. We've got five minutes. We do not have five minutes. The producers don't have five minutes. My point is that someone bought the book for a lot of money, and Neil's dropping everything to help me find out who it was so that I can give him or her a real signed copy of the book. So if there's anyone who was at the fundraiser or maybe knows the person who... Excuse me. You're dropping everything? No, I'm still very much doing my job. Except for... Did you find out anything? Yes. A woman at the auction management company was moved by your story and a little concerned about going to jail for fraud, so she was happy to fax over the name and contact information of the person who bought the forged book, but you're not going to be happy. Was it bought by an inmate? I have a small, slightly disturbed following among white-collar criminals. The book was bought by Sidney Falco. I don't know who that is. It's Tony Curtis. Sidney Falco is a character from Sweet Smell of Success. The highest bid was anonymous? All the bids are anonymous. Joe Gillis is Sunset Boulevard. Walter Neff from Double Indemnity. Archibald Craven from The Secret Garden. I don't understand this at all. Someone wanted to create the impression of a bidding war. So total of nobody bid on the book. Except Sidney Falco from Sweet Smell of Success, who for some reason bid himself up with other fictional characters. Who cares? Someone gave $1,000 to Sandy Relief, and they think they have your signature. I'm going to get to the bottom of this. You're at the bottom. There are clues here. I don't think so. There could be clues. There aren't, and you don't want to start looking for anagrams. Don't start of looking Sidney... for anagrams of Sidney Falco and Sweet Smell of Success.
The gender income gap starts at 50K. Men, 50K and above, are breaking for Romney. Women, 50 to 200K, were more likely to vote for the president, and it's the top 1% of female earners that went red. Now, here's where I'd like us to focus, because this is crucial. I'm sorry, but they need you. Wow. They're calling Ohio. We're on our way. You're back in 90 seconds. Uh, we'll pick this up after, okay? I'll get estimates from Boston. Thanks. Let's get Ben standing by. If it's I don't see Sloan. Is that Sloan out there? We'll go without her. We're calling it. Get in the studio. Colorado, Florida, Ohio, and Virginia in that scenario. Any one of those states would throw the president over the top. Getting Mitt Romney to 270 at this point seems very, very difficult. So the president's getting closer and closer to that magic number of 270. He's winning in the states he needs to win. But I have can't be taught. Get her in the chair. I think it's the other way around, but nice try.